Hi, I'm Janae Meadows from JanaeMeadows.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the perspective grid tool in Illustrator. So, the perspective, I can't even say the word, perspective grid tool looks like a wall over here. Let's zoom in so you can see that guy right there. Here he is. And you can also just do Shift P, bring that up. But well, watch what happens when you click on it. 3D. It's like totally futuristic. And you also see a new little friend over here up in the corner. Oh, he's so close. Okay, there he is. He's going to help us get to what side we need to. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so right now we. The orange side selected, the orange side selected. When I click on the other the blue side, the blue side selected. When I click on the bottom, the bottom selected. You get the idea. And we're going to build ourselves a little house today. I've got all the pieces here to build the house already made up. So I'm just going to grab a wall. And I'm going to paste that wall over here. And now I've got my orange side selected. And now I need to use my perspective selection tool looks like that gotta use him in order to bring this wall into the correct side he's the key master click that drag and you see immediately it becomes right in line with the orange and just line that up and you can use your tool continue to uh, line it up exactly as you want Let's zoom out here So that's one wall. Let's put another wall down. Let's do it on the other side. So I click on the blue side and I click and I drag and he starts lining up. And just go ahead and put them right in there. Now, look, there's not a lot of uh, shade variance. So you've got to do that yourself. You've got to be a little bit of an artist here. Illustrator's not going to do everything for you. Click on it and click on gradient and I'm just going to do a quick adjustment on that just to put a little shade in there for us so it's not so flat you really get the depth there you go okay get out of the way guys so we've got our walls to the house um why don't we put a door in there so still with that blue side selected I'm going to uh and with my um perspective selection tool. Click that and I'm just going to duplicate it by holding shift, option, and command. Now I've got double time and I could just make this a nice little space for a door to be. And then I'm going to click over here to the orange side and see it automatically says, oh you're on the orange side. I'm like, okay, that's good. Click that and adjust it exactly up got to bring it up to the front and you just adjust that so it lines up correctly see these lines so it's looking pretty good there next let's uh, add a door on there go over to the depot click the little door here copy that select the blue side I'm gonna pop them on there too tiny. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's a little, little tiny house. Okay, and then how about a couple of windows? Let's throw those over on the orange side. See, it's pretty neat. I mean, it's kind of like the, it's kind of like a computer game where you get to build your house. You get to be the designer. This is uh, kind of, if you want to do that cool uh, bitmap kind of art that's hip these days. So let you do that too. Put one more window over here, just to let some light into this house. And we're going to cap it off with the roof. Let's get those beams. Let's put it on this side here. You see, look at it immediately. It's so cool. This lines right up. 
And if I want to bring the roof up, add a little point, anchor point right in there. And bring that up. If you don't know how to use that anchor point, watch another tutorial. And finally, we're going to cap it off with the final roof. Let's do it on the blue side. Oh no. What did I do? Okay, finally we're going to click on our blue side and add the cap off the roof. Click, drag, and you can just put them into place. Now this one you're going to have to do a little leg work on. It doesn't do in all dimensions, it just does in the dimension you're looking at, so maybe CS5 will do 3D completely for you. But that, you know, that looks pretty good right there. You got yourself a little house. Now if you want to get this mesh out of your face, go to um, View, and then go down to Perspective Grid, and you want to hide the grid. There you go. Little house. Little house on the Illustrator. Okay, so that was pretty neat, right? Using the Perspective Grid tool. Um, if you want to see what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com. And in the meantime, check out some of my other tutorials.